Theatre from the Street. It's Stephen with Nina. It's a measly start, isn't it? Good characterization at the start, but then you started losing it. Stephen and Nina on seven. At the bottom, they're in sixth place. Hopefully, um, I'll get enough faults and I'll get me through. Stephen and Nina. The following morning, it's time to start the week's training, but there's no sign of Stephen. This is the first for Dancing on Ice. Somebody actually not even make it to choreography. We're going to choreograph this now. Maybe there was a bit of a party last night, I don't know. Whatever stage Stephen arrives, he'll have stopped picking out. As time goes on, it becomes clear Stephen won't be turning up today. As working with him is so important at this stage because we're adapting it to what he can do. He's got to try and adapt it himself now. I just slept through my alarm, basically, and I didn't turn up for my choreography, which I'm really, really sorry for, you know. I've let myself down, let Nina down. If it wasn't for the public voting me through, I'd be at home right now, twiddling my thumbs. After watching a recording of the choreography, the pressure's on Nina to make the routine work. Faster. And do it. Do it. Do it. Nina is working me quite hard, and quite rightly so. I'm here to keep your ass and okay. make you really, like, give you hard time on ice. You're not a girl. So don't grab my head. I need to be pushed sometimes. Really sorry for that. This routine we've got this week is a lot more difficult. Hey. Sorry. I've got a lot more to learn. There's a lot more dance moves. There's a lot more demanding. Uh, sorry. I had a terrible start to this routine. I've made it really hard for myself. But hopefully I can pull it off in the show. I show the public that I am worthy of placing this competition. With another night, please welcome onto the ice Stephen and Nina. Stephen in danger of being so under rehearsed, he's at risk of going for a party. If he goes AWOL again, his Russian partner might reignite the Cold War. Or has he done enough to improve on his first score of just seven? That's the uh, boogie on down movement, followed by a, a hip hop, side pull throughs, there's the Lombarda lift. And they finally finished with a cartwheel. Well, two, three, and two were his scores on his first performance. Please remember, out of ten, 30 is the maximum. Jason, two. Robin, 2.5. Emma, 2.5. It's seven again. That's, uh, that's harsh from the judges. You think that's fair? Um, you know, I just... Every week I come... Well, this is my second time here now, but I just wanted to improve and 
And that's why I'm here, just to get better each week and do my best I can. But if that's what they think, that's what they think. But do I am giving it me all. Do you think it made it harder for you because you were sort of playing catch-up at the beginning of the week? Um, yeah, I mean, it's my own fault that I got a bit giddy after, you know, getting through and I slept through, got up late. Um, but it did make it, I mean, we did work really hard though. We was on like five or six hours skating every single day. You've worked him hard, haven't you? You haven't taken any nonsense. Uh, I did work him very hard, but obviously I'm really so satisfied with today on the ice. Mm. He just gave me such a great time. And Cheers. <laughs> you think he redeemed himself? Um, absolutely. Um, I mean, you, you were at a disadvantage for not doing um, the Monday choreography. Um, Nina has obviously worked you very, very hard. It's like probably like having your own drill sergeant, I would think. Well, deserving the soul, though, you know what I mean? I, I, I never sleep, and I did, and I apologise for that. That's I really do. <laughs> no, <laughs> you, but, I mean, you, all you need is a better alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> you did great, Stephen. For the past two weeks, he was sleeping and dreaming about the skating. Yeah, was it? Well, that's <laughs> good. <laughs> good. <laughs> right, thank you very much. Okay, so, Robin, um, yeah. I mean, we seem to really enjoy it. He's enjoying it on the ice. We're enjoying it. It's all very upbeat until the scores come along. So it's, it's very enjoyable, partly for all the wrong reasons, but it's just not <laughs> comfortable, and there's very, very little skating. What there is is very basic and just not very good. I can appreciate that you are giving it all you've got, but to keep up with everybody else, you're going to have to find a lot more from somewhere. OK, I'm a bit scared to do this, but I feel I have to. Jason? Well, you know, you're a natural disaster. <laughs> it's, you know, it's not I mean, it, you know, look, Stephen, it's like watching somebody get up who's had one too many at one of those awful, tacky seaside resort discos, and you just wish they'd stop. And I think, you know, the lack of commitment has obviously shown here. Are you going to take this competition seriously? I'm 100% taking this competition seriously. Well, then maybe you might improve if you do. Okay. <laughs> okay thank you, thank you, thank you. That's harsh. That is harsh. It is, but, you know, I, all I can keep doing, you know, I'm not a Robin Cousins or a Christopher Dean, but, you know... But I'm, you could be. I, you know, but I, I've not got the natural ability, but I'm giving it me absolute all. Just dream all. big. I will do, yes. Absolutely. If you think there is more rhythm to come from Stephen, then go for him when we open the lines at the end of the show. Stephen and Nina. Earlier, these 12 cup your votes. The competition began and they gave... The lines have closed. We'll be giving you the results very shortly. It's Dancing on Ice. The skate off. Welcome back to Dancing on Ice. The skate off. All 12 of our stars perform tonight and in a few moments, two must skate again. I am about to be given the results. So, in no particular order. So we are down to the final three. Denise and Matt, Dominic and Alexandra, Stephen and Nina. Only one couple is definitely safe. The other two are in the skate-off. The tenth couple safe and skating next week is... It's Denise and Matt. So, Dominic and Alexandra, and Stephen and Nina, you are in the skate off. Now it's the judges you have to impress. Any mistakes from earlier will be forgiven and forgotten. You'll be judged purely on the performance you are about to give. So, no pressure then. The very best of luck, and away you go and get ready. Good luck, guys. Let's see what you're up against. Skating for survival and a place in next week's show. Please welcome back onto the ice, Stephen and Nina.
Hold on, guys. I'm going to ask you the same question. Do you think you've done enough? Uh, hopefully, but you never know. You know, it just, it's all a blur when you're out there. Um, I've really enjoyed it, though. I've really enjoyed being out there. It's just a great feeling. It's just a superb buzz, you know, with the audience and everything else. I've just enjoyed every moment of it. Well, let's see what happens now. If I could, uh, if I could ask you now to step back onto the ice, they've given their all, but for one of them, all won't be quite enough. Go and face the judges. Best of luck, all of you. OK, this is it. Dominic and Alexandra and Stephen and Nina have skated again for the judges. One couple stays in the competition, one couple waves goodbye. It's decision time. Judges, I am going to ask you one by one to give me the name of the skating star you want to save and see Skate again next week. Jason. Well, uh, it's a shame it's not a double eviction, but um, based on the Skate Off performances, I'm going to save Dominic. One vote for Dominic. Emma. I'm going to save Dominic. So there we are. Let's see where Robin would have gone. I'm glad it's not a double eviction because I know we will see more. I save Dominic. So with all three votes, Dominic skates next week. So Dominic, you go and uh, off to your fellow skaters, Dominic. And uh, let's have Stephen over here. <laughs> what a shame, mate. I'm so Thanks. sorry. But you enjoyed it. Do you know what? Uh, like I say, you know, I'm not a natural skater, but I've put my heart and soul into this. And Nina, for the last three months, has been like a big sister to me. And I just want to say thank you so much. Have you, uh, have you enjoyed it as well? Come stand down here so I can see you, Nina. Have you, uh, have you enjoyed it? Oh, yes. Stephen is a really great person, and I'm really enjoyed to work with him and just share every time. Well, thank you both very much indeed. Shame, shame. Such it a shame. Is. It's, it's been so much fun working with both it's of you. It's been great knowing, getting to know them both mm -hmm. as a partnership, and Stephen's been a lot of fun. And Nina, you've been fantastic. I'm glad I'm not your partner. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. What a night. Well, can we top that next week, I, I wonder? Stephen, we've absolutely loved having you here. Would you take to the ice for sure. lack of honour? honour. Stephen and Nina, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Will. They still don't know what surprise we have up our sleeve. And all of us here, good night.
Well, if you want to catch the gossip backstage, join Hayley Tamadam with all our skating stars on the website, itv.com slash ice. Next tonight, Catherine Tate, Piers Morgan and John Prescott join Adrian for a very entertaining look at the week gone by in that Sunday night show.